All right, guys, so we are in, I believe it's part six of the Node.js Express Cassandra lesson uh, or series. What we have to this point is we, we're grabbing all the subscribers from our Cassandra database. We're listing them here. You can click on one and it's going to show you uh, all the subscribers details okay and we also have a link to add a subscriber you can add one through this form um, now what we want to do is be able to edit subscribers okay so if we click on one I want an edit button down here that's going to take us to a form that's pre-filled with their information okay so let's go ahead and do that okay so what we need to do is I'm going to create a new route and I'm going to call this edit subscriber.js and we might as well open that okay and then as far as the views we want to create a new view okay we'll call this edit subscriber.jade And then for the app in our app.js file, we just need to add those as well. Okay, we're down here. Okay, save that, close that up. Uh, now the edit and the add are going to be very similar, so I'm going to copy everything from addsubscriber.js and I'm going to paste it into editsubscriber.js. So we're going to want to um, render out the edit subscriber uh, template, but we can't just change this to edit subscriber because we need to do a select statement so that we can get the current user's information and insert that into the form automatically. Uh, and let me just change this here. Just change that for our log. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of this. And um, actually right above this, we're gonna create our query. So this is gonna be, um, we'll say get subscriber by ID and basically this is going to be identical to our index I'm sorry our subscriber so if we look at subscriber.js um, I'm actually going to copy this okay I'm going to copy all the get function in the query itself and put that into edit subscriber overwriting what I just put there all right, so what we're going to do is it's going to get the ID from the URL, so it's going to be something like um, it'll be something like edit edit subscriber slash and then that long string, which will be the ID. Okay, um, we want to change the render. We want to change the name of the view to edit user. I'm sorry, edit subscriber. And the form, uh, actually, yeah, actually that's fine. This looks good. So let's go ahead and create the form before we go ahead and, and do the processing function or the post function. So I wanna go to edit subscriber.jade. I'm actually gonna go to add subscriber.jade and copy everything paste that into edit subscriber and uh, let's just change this heading we'll say edit subscriber uh, the form is going to go to or the name of it is going to be edit action also is going to go to edit subscriber and let's see what we want to do is we want to insert values so this uh, email at the end here we're going to add a value and that is going to be equal to 
email. All right, and we just want to do that for all of these fields. So value. Okay, this will be first name. And last name. Okay, so we'll save that. Make sure your edit subscriber JS is saved, and then we'll restart the server. All right, and then we'll go to. Um, actually, you know what? We need to add an edit link on the subscriber page. So go to that view. Go to subscriber dot jade. I don't think I have it open. Subscriber dot jade. Whoop. And I'm just going to add an edit link down here. So under the, the unordered list, let's add a link. And I'm going to give it a class. Of edit subscriber and then an href. This is going to go to slash edit subscriber slash and then the ID Oops. ID and that'll say edit all right and, and while I'm here I'm also going to add a delete link so I, I want to pipe in between the links so I'm going to do this and then let me just copy this here Okay, this will be delete. Delete subscriber. Uh, the link will go nowhere because a delete actually has to be done using a um, an HTTP request. So we're going to use AJ jQuery and AJAX to do that, and we'll do that in the next video. One more thing, I want to have an attribute called data slash data dash user. Um, I'm sorry, data dash ID. And we're going to set that to the ID as well. Okay, so let's save that. If we go to a subscriber page, reload. Oh, we got to change the text here to delete. Okay, so if we click edit, now we get a form with all the user information. Okay, so lastly, we need to create our, our uh, method for when a user actually submits and posts to the server. Okay, so to do that, we want to go back to edit subscriber.js and we're going to go under, we're going to go down here. Uh, remember, we copied this from the add subscriber, so this is what was there. Um, let's change this to edit subscriber and it's not going to be much different, if anything. Now, one thing uh, here we don't need we don't want to generate the ID uh, because that'll just insert a new record. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to change this here to request.body.id just like the rest of these. Okay, and what I need to do is our form now has to submit an ID. And that's where this is going to come from. So save this, and then I'm going to go to uh, edit subscriber .jade, and we need to add a hidden field that's going to pass on the ID for us. So uh, above the, um, I'll do it right above the submit button. We want to have input, and it's going to have a type of hidden. Okay, and then the name is going to be ID, and then the value is going to be the dynamic ID. All right, so I'll save that. Okay, if I reload this form, I just want to look at the source for a second and 
you can see that we do have this hidden field with the ID and it has the ID is embedded right here so that should be sent to to the route file which is here uh, and it's going to be passed in right here all right so that's how it's going to work so let's take Bob Johnson and let's change his Yahoo email to uh, let's change it to a live.com email okay we probably want to change the text here as well subscribe and now you can see that uh, well actually we have a problem user 2 at live and user 2 at Yahoo alright so it looks like it just added it so let's see we do have an issue all right, so I actually paused it and I looked into it for a little bit. And apparently, since we used email as a primary key, we can't update it. All right, so basically, we shouldn't have the ability to change the email only because we made it as a primary key. Um, if I would go back and make it so that ID was the only primary key so that we could actually update the email without this problem because if you go and let's say user 3 at Yahoo okay William Smith let's go ahead and edit and change him to Bill Smith okay leaving his email intact now you can see that user 3 there's still only one it didn't get duplicated alright um, basically an email is a key alright so since we changed the key here uh, it's a it's a whole new um, it's a whole new entry or record actually you know what real quick we can do this we can change this real quick if we just want to drop the table and, and then add it so uh, let's say drop table subscribers and then we'll go ahead and create table subscribers and we want to specify ID is a UUID and we'll say it's the primary key and then email text um, first name text last name text all right so let's go ahead and run that now if we go back to our application and reload we don't have anything here if we add a uh, a subscriber let's say user1 at yahoo.com John Doe whoop, just John Doe subscribe at another one let's say user2 and we'll say Mike Smith subscribe and now let's say we want to edit John Doe we can edit his email, we'll change him to Gmail. So gmail.com, update, and you can see that it updated his email and it didn't create another user. All right, so that's it, that's the solution to that is just to remove the primary key uh, off of email and just keep it on your ID. All right, so we're getting very close. Um, last thing I wanna do is be able to delete a user and that's going to take a little bit of time so I'm going to stop this video and we'll continue uh, in the next one.